everyone, Christina Werner here. Welcome to another mail art video for simonsystamp.com. Today I'm going to be using this cute little stamp set from Lawn Fawn called Oh What Fun, as well as this envelope from Simon. This is an Audrey Blue envelope. So I'm going to start by taking the little bear on a sl Santa sled and I'm going to place it in sort of the bottom left corner of the envelope and I'm going to angle it so that I can later have the bear on a slope sledding. So I'm putting that in my Misty stamp positioning tool and then stamping the image in VersaFine Onyx Black ink. I'm planning to use colored pencils today, so I don't need to use um, specifically a waterproof ink or anything that works with markers. Any black ink will do. Taking a pencil and drawing in a sloped line, uh, sort of a hill, hill or a slope for this sled to be going down, and I'll have it kind of swing up on the other side just a tiny bit. I'm going to take a black pen and draw in that line so that it looks a little bit more cohesive with the sled image. And I'll thick thicken that up. You can use any black pen for this. Like I said before, since we're not adding any uh, marker ink or any sort of moisture on top of this, it doesn't necessarily need to be a waterproof ink. I'm using some colored pencils from Faber-Castell today and I'm going to start by coloring on areas that I want to be the brightest or that I want to have white on them. Speeding up the video process just a little bit, um, but this coloring didn't take very long at all. So I've added those white areas where I want the light to be hitting. So I'm going to have the light coming sort of down from below a little bit, or from the top I mean. So the highlights would be on the very top of his hat and on his arm and on the bridge of his nose. And after I had those white areas on, then I uh, went over it with the colors. So I added a little bit of red, added some darker shades to darken it up, and I did the same with this blue area under, or I'm sorry, green area underneath. Just adding more and more green shades to that. Add a little bit of white to the blades on the sled and then just a little bit of a golden brown color. For the white area of the slope, I used the white colored pencil and just added a bit. And now I'm going to darken up this scene, make it a little bit more dramatic. So I've put some post-it tape to protect the flap of the envelope. And now I've put down a tonic easy clean mat, which will protect the surface of my desk here and it will also allow me to bring this ink in off the edge of the envelope and it will glide and slide. So I'm using some uh, Distress ink in the color Chipped Sapphire and also a mini round blending tool and just blending that color in from the top edge. I want it to fade out a little bit as it gets closer to the sled but I'm also not preventing the color from hitting that bear because having a little bit of that color over the bear will give it a more atmospheric feel. So I peeled off that tape and now I'm going to be writing on the recipient's mailing address. I'm going to start with the city and state line um, just because I wanted to make sure that this was pretty straight on the envelope and I used a ruler to help me get that straight and then after I had that as a reference point then I kind of broke out of that straight line idea and just wrote the address around it. I'm using a number 10 jelly roll pen. This is the extra bold, thick jelly roll pen. And the address I'm using today, thank you so much, Kelly. Um, she gave me permission to use her address. So thank you so much to Kelly. I finished off the design of the envelope by putting some vintage postage stamps up near the top have a little more postage than I actually need, but um, I really like having all those blue shades and the, the stocking up there in the top corner too. To finish off the design, I added some snowflakes. These could be snowflakes or stars, however you'd like. Um, if you wanted to do snowflakes and make sure they read as snowflakes, you could draw the dots over the top of the bear as well, but I just wanted it to go around the bear. So these could be stars as well. So to finish it off, I put my return address on the, the flap of the envelope and that will finish the envelope for today for this month actually. Hope you guys enjoyed this holiday inspiration and thank you so much for joining me for another mail art video. I will see you very soon. Thanks for watching.